Hey there everybody, it's the Nicole Universe, hope everything is fine and I'm a Russian who brings value to my own experience. And today we have the story time, impromptu time, when I will create the stories by my own and it will be really impromptu, it is not prepared, yes, something like life preparation was, because you understand that I know English language a little bit and also I have my own unique experience and also I read some books and also this type of experience, yes, we call it, but actually it is impromptu, yes, we know. And uh, impromptu, let's begin. I will tell stories and uh, we will try to learn English through this. So, here is a story. Once upon a time, there lived a playground salesman. Playground salesman is a person who was working daily. He was selling the playgrounds for children, specific spaces for children, interactive spaces, sports active spaces also. You maybe I imagine that in your country you have it too. Some children who are playing some of the swings and also some of the slopes and also there were a lot of things, some of the specific playgrounds in a form of Pirates of the Caribbean, where is R and Caramba and something like ships, water ships and also some different types of uh, things we were in there, also rocket ships, you could see that uh, the children we are playing there and some could I imagine that I'm an actor and I'm the, the rocket ship uh, like Admiral and I'm here and I'm ruling the team, it is amazing and uh, there we are a lot of play playgrounds and he was selling it. But in one day one person came to their company and started to say, why do you sell it? Why can't you why can't you provide it without selling? Why can't you build it without selling? And uh, it was really interesting question and he didn't know how to answer because he knew that he was inside of the system. He was inside of the system of the world that need to sell something. Yes, he understood that life is in a way that we that we need to live, we need to continue living and uh, we need to pay for for bills, we need to do something, but actually we need to help to children, but he had this conflict inside of him, he knew that need to need to sell it, but uh, he couldn't do this without building by themselves. And then next time he decided to do, he decided to do decision, that on this job he will build his, he will sell the, the playgrounds. But in his free time he loved really children and he decided to build his own playgrounds. He created sandboxes for free. He created philanthropic companies and something like this uh, that uh, we are helping to the children to bring value, to bring happiness to them. They were jumping in the sandbox doing some of the castles inside of it and he felt that yes, it is amazing. Not doing only for money and also for for this and uh, then he felt that uh, when uh, next time this customer ca came to him and he asked this and he understood that really in our real world we have taxes we have these things and sometimes we need to earn money but if we love it we can do this even without money and uh, he understood this logic of him and he understood the why he's working there and uh, I, don't, I don't know how to answer how to finish it but uh, actually it's a nice story because sometimes so we have conflicts inside of us too, kind of uh, when some people around are coming to you and saying to you that why do you do this for money? But actually you are not doing this for money, you're doing this to bring that to them, but actually you are a part of the whole system and the whole system works on this way. And actually money it is not like a something that should be evil or something. Yes, we build it and we we should... The most important... Uh, important the most important... Uh, the lesson should be from the story, moral, okay? It is that we need to bring more happiness than you get from it. Yes, and you can get, uh, and actually you will get more. You will get more in a meaning of happiness or something like non-material. It is kind of material, unmaterial world conflict uh, side of the story. Okay, it is first story that I told you about the playground and some different uh, like uh, thinking. It is about like opened questions and actually we can close it by doing the open 
always bringing to the world more than you take from the world. It is the the rule that should be from the story that we can create, okay? It is the moral of the story that he started to do philanthropy, volunteering, and also behind this job, and uh, then everything was fine. And uh, it is kind of uh, the uh, the rule of thumb of the story, the lesson. Okay, next story. Once upon a time, how to start a story without once upon once upon a time, by the way, let me know in the comment section below, it will be interesting. Once upon a time, there lived a bottle of water. It was a creature that were jumping near the floor, near, on, the fl on the floor, it was jumping the bottle of water, the story of bottle of water, and also there were families of bottle of water, and uh, inside of the their genetics tree there were a lot of like... Uh, Proto proto bottle of water and also proto bottle of water of ancient and it was the generations of bottle of water that we were behind it and there we were a lot of them and once upon a time our bottle of water called Bob and uh, our main character is Bob he went to the store to find a little bit of water to fulfill his opportunity inside of him and he started to walk to find water but he didn't find it and he started to be upset and by this upsetting his inner 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 water inside of him that left like he had 20 percentage of the fulfilled right now i imagine the bottle and uh, he had uh, 20 percentage and uh, he started to think oh i have only 20 and it is not really nice it's not really good that i have inside of me he started to walk around and he started to look around all people had something with them and uh, then he noticed one person and uh, this person had only only two drops of water inside of him and it was a bottle on on the streets uh, on on the park he found him and uh, this person were, were shiny his uh, two drops of water were kind of like sun and uh, it was uh, always radiating some happiness around and he started to speak with him hey dude why why do you smiling like that? Who did you smile like that? And uh, this dude said that uh, I appreciate everything that have uh, in my life. I appreciate even these two drops of water inside of me. And uh, then uh, this dude with 20% he started to understand. Yes great gratitude and empathy for the what we have and kind of appreciation of what we have it is amazing to have and then this black magically and so like inner 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 magically change to the light and this 20 percent of his water started to light and he shared to the dude who stand near him with two drops of water he brought to him 10 percentage and then they have both by 10 percentage and this dude with two drops of water had even more and then they started to talk and actually this person with two drops of water we are a magician and he said to him to, was a magician and he said to them to him you help me and uh, you deserve more and he brought to him 100 percentage of water and uh, it was the story that uh, he this magician bottle of water brought to the bob 100 percentage to the bob and uh, bob right now with 100 percentage and this dude magician too kind of uh, shaman shaman bottle of water and he's with 102 and he said you saved you you shared it you showed your qualities you showed your kind of inner voice and it's amazing i want to thank you and here's for you some more and uh, then this dude bob lived really happily and he understood when he give to another people he actually also get something from it and he likes it and the most important rule of thumb she learned that need to give without expectations and it is a story of another maybe <laughs> like parts of it yes and uh, okay uh, uh, nice stories nice good and uh, interesting about characters with some moral inside of it it is ki kind of 
really, I like the stories. They are kind of kind, good, and uh, we can create uh, more. Uh, it is more like philosophical, philosophical tales. So we can say it. Also, we can uh, go further. We can talk about the spacecraft, but it will be in another videos. Thank you a lot for watching. It was interesting, really. I like to tell stories because I improve my kind of uh, understanding what I speak about, and also I create kind of mental connections inside of my mind. And storytelling is a good thing. Let me know in the comment section below what do you think about the stories. What could you improve, or maybe you can add something, or maybe some vocabulary. It will be really useful. Maybe some related to this topic vocabulary. We have topics of both. It is uh, first bottle of water. I mean that's second second story was about, was about bottle of water and first was about playgrounds and sales maybe you know some vocabulary let me know synonyms of some words it will be good it will improve our english and your too because when you write you are improving your skills too and it is amazing so thank you a lot for watching see you next time